it would seem that Nicola Sturgeon's policy of minimum pricing for alcohol is proving to be more divisive than perhaps she had first imagined. Jonathan Pye, Holyrood, Edinburgh. Minimum pricing for alcohol and banning two-for-one pizzas. I mean, you may as well wear a badge saying, I hate poor people. And, and for a Scottish nationalist party, she's doing no favours for Scottish national identity by tackling obesity and alcoholism. You, you take all the drunk bastards and the fat fucks out of Scotland, what are you left with? The Loch Ness Monster? A lizard that doesn't exist? I don't want to be here, Tim. I'm Westminster. I'm not fucking Scotland. I'm Westminster. I want to be here about as much as Donald Trump wanted to be at the G7. Yeah, he only turned up to let the world know how little he gives a shit. Basically, he turned up late, looked around and went, I don't see the point of this, and then fucked off early to go see Kim Jong-un, who also happens to be a fat, chubby tyrant. W was that a peace summit in Singapore? Because the pictures of those two shaking hands look more like the finals for this year's Which World Leader Has the Shittest Hair competition? He started the G7 by asking for Putin to be reinstated for no good reason because the G8 is better than the G7 because it's a bigger number. And, and the illegal annexation of the Crimean Peninsula was like ages ago. And he ended the summit by accusing Justin Trudeau, Mr. Super Woke himself, of stabbing the US in the back. Basically, if you embrace Russia and North Korea in the same week, you've got to slap someone around, so why not Canada? those friendly, virtue-signalling neighbours next door. Canada is basically Ned Flanders. It, it's almost as if Trump is too much of a pussy to start a trade war with China, so he may as well start one with his allies. The man is a fucking weasel. Why, why do we keep acting surprised when Trump behaves entirely in keeping with his character? The G7 is all about international unity, it's about working together. Trump, Trump has always been a protectionist. His form of nationalism is about competitiveness, not cooperation. He thinks trade deficits are for pussies. I, I love that picture of Japan's Chinzo looking on bemused as all these fucking Westerners who supposedly rule the world are, are huddled around Trump, just, you know, begging him. To, for, for some reason, it reminded me of when I had to potty train my son. You know, all these world leaders crowded around him. Trump just sat there with this face that said, I know that I need to take a shit, but the only reason I'm not going to take a shit is because you want me to. Trump is the diplomatic equivalent of a toddler refusing to do a shit. Just, just listen to the way he speaks. You know, I, can, I can win a trade war. I can win a thousand trade wars. I can do anything I like. I don't need to do my homework for North Korea because I'm like a fucking Jedi or something. I just know things. I can sort out all the world's problems in one minute. One minute! Is it, is it awful that I want this North Korea thing to fall through? Because you think he's insufferable now. Imagine that fucker with a Nobel Peace Prize. He'd be running round the fucking UN. Oh, no, no, I fucking won it. I won it. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. I'm here in Edinburgh where Nicola Sturgeon has been making waves with two flagship policies designed.